Hello YouTube. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple class simulation super easy. Just like this. We will be using Mixamo characters and animations for this tutorial. And also, this doesn't only apply to Mixamo characters. You can do this on the character of your choice. For example, I use a Spider-Man model to create a cloth e animation. You just basically follow the tutorial, but you do it on the character of your choice. Now let's get started. First things first, go to Mixamo. Next, find a character that you want to do a class simulation with. Perfect. And then go to the animations tab and find an animation that you want your character to be doing. And I just put run because, you know, I, I couldn't think of anything else. If you want, go ahead and mess with the settings with the animation. What did I just create? Once you like what you got, go ahead and, and download it. I like to use 60 FPS, but you do you, because I like to get those crispy frames. Then open up Blender and import your character. Click on your character's clothing, and then go to Vertex. Then add a Vertex group, and then name it however you want. Then go to Edit Mode, and assign it. Then go to the Weight Paint tab, and turn down the weight to 0.2, and then paint where you want your wrinkles to be at. And then go ahead and go to blur mode, and then turn up the radius. And then go ahead and blur out the edges of your paint. Repeat this process, but on the shirt. Don't worry if the clothes aren't separate from the body. All you have to do is just paint where you want the wrinkles. Click on your clothing and then go to the modifiers tab and add subdivision surface. One is all right. Then go to physics tab and click on cloth. Scroll down until you see shape and open it. Click on pin group and find your vertex group with the name you came up with. Repeat process if needed. Then go to cache and press bake all dynamics. You also can just press bake as well to bake the simulation individually. Once the baking is done, then you got your crispy smooth clothy animation. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. I really hope this tutorial really helped you. See you next time.